WFXR News is your local election headquarters. Election day is now less than a month away and candidates are starting to make the big push to the ballot box. Tonight, candidates vying for Virginia's fourth Senate district seat spoke to a crowd at the Jefferson Center in Roanoke. WFXR's Amari Williams was at that forum tonight. She joins us now live with a look at what was said this evening. Amari, good evening. Kathleen, there were some tense moments tonight as the political opponents debated many topics that were brought up by residents. Now, while there were plenty of moments of disagreements, there were some small things that both agreed upon. Both both Republican David Suderline and Democrat Trish White Boyd agreed lawmakers need to de- criminalize marijuana, eliminate the car tax, and reevaluate income tax rates. They also agreed on the transgender policy in Roanoke, requiring parents' involvement in changing their child's name. Some of the more tense moments came when talking about the transgender when talking about transgender athletes, gun laws, and abortion. Uh, I'm pro-life. I uh, strongly support Governor Yunkin's 15-week limit proposal that includes exceptions for rape, incest, life, think that the law should stand as it is. Um, you know, in, in the third trimester, there has to be two doctors to approve it, to sign off on it. But aside from that, I think that decision is between a woman, a mother, and her doctor. And I strongly support the Second Amendment. I think everyone that's known me every time I run, um, that's been clear in every campaign. Uh, my opponents have had a different view. Um, that's their right. But I think the Second Amendment provides a right, an individual right, to self-protection. I have no quorums with that. I have no issues with that at all. That is their Second Amendment right to own a gun. The only thing that I have advocated for and campaigned on is common sense gun safety. Like I said, my own in their closing arguments, Trish White Boyd said she's the one for the job because she has experience as a small business owner and as a member of Roanoke City Council. Suderline notes his work already in the Senate, adding that he is the only one to receive endorsements. He's been endorsed by Clean Virginia, the Realtors Association, and the Farm Bureau. Now, experts do say that this race will come down to voter turnout due to it being an off year and redistricting. Election day is November 7th. Live in Roanoke. Oak Imari Williams, WFXR News.